Pink Flamingos. Isn't that a cute name for a movie? Fun fact, a group of flamingos is actually called a flamboyance, which is ironic because every character in this movie is flamboyant as sh They had to do that on purpose, right? I'll break your hearts quick. I've never wanted to watch this movie. And yeah, yeah, I know, cool classic, bite me. I've never known anything about this film. I've always seen the cover and just thought, ugh, movie looks like a bit of a drag. But seriously, I just assumed it was gonna be like torture porn for no reason. So I just kept skipping it because I would like to somewhat limit my intake of torture porn, if you didn't mind. Anyways, I watched it. I kind of like this movie. You can see my reactions to it in a bit, but don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I like this movie because it wasn't off-putting. It absolutely was. And I like that I still have moments where I turn away from the screen. It lets me know that someone's still in here. Pink Flamingos was released in 1972, making waves in underground cinema. This movie kind of came out at the perfect time. People were getting sick of whistling to fucking Andy Griffith. Counterculture was just ramping up. The first gay liberation parade was in 1970. People were smoking the weed. The golden age of porn was upon us. Like, isn't that crazy? That your grandparents were probably pulling up to the local cinema to get bricked up for an hour? And listen, I'm not one to judge. But they are, they judge us now, which is crazy. Like, bro, you were rubbing elbows with strangers while you were watching Deep Throat. Pink Flamingos is about Divine, also known as Babs Johnson, the filthiest woman alive. And that title matters to her. But for some reason, these two dinguses, Raymond and Connie, are desperate to outfilth her and take her title. They think they're the bigger degenerates. So the battle begins. Also, this movie was heavily inspired by the Charles Manson girls. Fun facts. There's actually way too much lore associated with this film. So I'll just cap it off with John Waters. The director, the writer, the editor. The, well, he actually hired a cameraman at first, but then the cameraman was like, I don't know if I feel comfortable pointing the lens at that. So John fired his ass and said, I'll just record the rest, which he did. Any interview that I saw or read with John, he seems great. He's so honest about what the film was, about who he is, and he has a great sense of humor about everything. And even though you stare at a gaping asshole for debatably too much time in this movie, he made a film bigger than he could ever imagine. By the way, don't even bother looking for this movie on streaming services or anything. Not even a VPN could save you on this one, which is not something I say often because this movie is just like an extreme outlier in that regard because usually, VPNs are fucking sick. One of them specifically more than the others. We're sponsored by Block my wearing ass. Protect your data. True countries, libraries. Multiple devices secure. Happy birthday. Norturn's 11 this month, but the irony is that they're giving some gifts out to us. It's a huge discount on a two-year plan. If you sign up right now, click the link with your hand. You can get at least four additional months for free. It can be up to a year, but there's no guarantee. But what is guaranteed is the 30-day money back. What is guaranteed? NordVPN has got your back. You copy that Roger deal is poggers. That's a fax. You can log in with no Problem fighting traggers and the hacks. That's nordvpn.com slash Mr. GG. Once again, nordvpn.com slash Mr. GG. And thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. Okay, pink flamingo. So there's a pink flamingo there. So for like the first 15, 20 minutes of this movie, I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I am just genuinely trying to learn what's happening. There was a woman in a playpen who loved eggs. There was a narrator who I later learned was also John Waters. And there's just a bunch of Benny Hill-like sequences, but instead of a lot of casual perverted punchlines, it's mainly just people showing their genitals to other people who were not planning on seeing those genitals. And all those sequences are with music that John didn't get cleared when he first released the film. Fun facts. Connie and Raymond run some underground birthing station so they can sell babies to lesbian couples. Oddly wholesome. If you ignore the whole underground birthing station thing that I mentioned. 
Have a nice day. Eat the bird, bitch! <laughs> Eat the bird? That's a six eight. I've never heard that one. Eat the bird, bitch! What do you mean Humpty Dumpty was an egg? How could a person be an egg, Cotton? How could a person be an egg? The egg lore continues. Tell it to me again, Cotton. <laughs> okay, so get this. I just have her play Sonic. Just have her go toe to toe with Eggman. Oh, I just realized she has eggs smeared all over her. A very funny sentence on its own. <laughs> I've never surfboarded in my life. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Eat the bird, bitch. I know this reference won't make sense to anybody else except someone who has been watching The Man Show with Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kimmel. That was like a skit straight out of their fucking show. Drive me to the nearest vet. Don't say anything, all right? Just don't say a word. I said don't talk to me when I come down here. He says after he lets her go on for like fucking 40 seconds. Oh, oh look how pretty oh, she is. Oh. Connie, do they get this? Yes, they do. Do they get yeah. this? You, me, and now, little noodles. Can they change the name? Do they want to change the name? Do they not want to change the name? I like this song. I don't know how I feel about what I'm watching, but... Is he creeping because he wants to suckle the steak between her legs, or because he just wants to... Hey, I know this sample! No, no! She yank out the steak at this point? I'm assuming those were not paid actors. <laughs> Finally, drop those curtains, baby. Wait. No. That's not what I was referring to. I meant the food. <laughs> the pussy pack protein you had back there. Was that just no longer part of the story? Did she eat it? She did it raw? Soundtrack of the year, thoughts? Oh, there you go. Like a ninja. So you may think leaves rustling are loud. Incorrect. Not to 18 year olds. They still haven't developed all their hearing yet. And at this point, I'm not... What what what's the what's the genitals and meats combination theme going on here? That guy just had a sausage tied up to his cock. And he approached those two girls. And then there wasn't really anything else to that. That was just that was just it. Put him with unheard of atrocities in order to pump the information you need out of him. You're talking to a guy who literally just tied a fucking like foot long sausage to his cock like twenty minutes ago. We own a few pornography shops, plus we front money to a chain of heroin pushers in the inner city elementary schools. Uh, but I digress. <laughs> that was almost debatably crazier than whatever the fuck you just said. So called date is actually a spy sent by the marbles. Who's the narrator? I've just been sitting right here. Ever since What's their know? relation? See, at first I was thinking like cuck, but then like not cuck, but then like reverse cuck syndrome with like the Uno reverse card of cuck. This is Miss Cotton. She's one of my roommates here. Oh, okay, they're just roommates. On, one exactly died an ironic period of time later. Oh! Cut the scene. Oh! Jeez. Oh! <laughs> hey, it's the. That's a milkman. Don't you fuck with me. I like to zoom out from the toes. Just good cinematography. These days, does it? And I guess you're gonna fuck her now, is that it? Right. Okay, I kind of get why you made the rule to not talk to him when he's down there. Shut up! <laughs> Doing that in front of me, stop it, you asshole! Oh, how vile can you be? Shut up! Shut up, you'll see. Just shut up. Go see. Yo, all see! <laughs> Turn around! Why are you watching him? Why are we? Why are we? Why are we? Four hundred times on my man's ass hairs right now. You impulsive pig! Oh, you just. You hate her so much. You get her pregnant this way. You. I did not realize the background of that shot until. What is this now?
Wow! Is this what inspired Jesse and James from Team Rocket? Just going off the hair. Not so much the toe sucking. Prepare for travel. And make it double. Let's go! Oh, that was the steak hidden in, hidden in her thighs in, in coochie space. So she did take it home. Is that an actual dead chicken? It's a fucking mailman! A mailman? What kind of shit is that? There ain't no address here. I'll take care of him. Mother, shut up. Huh? <laughs> she wasn't even saying anything. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, didn't they just write it's a trailer bad. on the package? Yeah, they just said a trailer in Phoenix, didn't they? <laughs> That's hilarious. You just fucked a dead chicken in the shed. Who's who's that guy to judge? Nobody sends you a turd and expects to live. <laughs> I, I love that he fumbled on the line a little bit. No one sends uh, you a turd. <laughs> Eggman didn't do it, Babs. I know the Eggman didn't do it. Oh, I don't think he did either, Mother. Don't shut up and let me think, will you? It was Noodles! It was Noodles all along! Grew up to be a real son of a bitch. That cookie was asking questions, Crackers. I heard her. Right that now. cookie was asking questions, Crackers. <laughs> Everyone knows that title has become my trademark. Why to use it in this way is only to insinuate that they are filthier than I. How could anyone seriously believe that? How could anyone be filthier than Divine? I'm afraid our little vacation must come to an end. This must be nipped in the bud. It's already out of hand. Now we must outfilt the asshole or assholes that sent this. And then they must die! What a monologue delivery, huh? Edie has accepted the Eggman's offer of marriage. You mean, was the Eggman the only the person egg invited egg to the party? Egg. Can I see his breath? Is it fucking cold in there? I can eat a hundred eggs. I'll bring you that pure shit, baby. Every day. Check this shit out. I mean, come on. Oh, look. There's a fellow with a swastika. Why did all these people get invited? Oh, no. It's Connie and Raymond. Raymond. Connie and Raymond, the two most dastardly beings on this planet, sneaking onto Bab's property in their militia operation to finally crown themselves as the filthiest person alive. And Edie is still in a fucking playpen outside. Okay, so so far she's got like puke on a piece of paper, a meat cleaver, and now the head of a pig. Oh, and now she's got some of that good, good ganja, huh? Edie's cholesterol is out of this fucking world. Okay, <laughs> the movie has officially devolved into a fever dream. Finally, a song change, but the scene change was not preferred. Oh yeah, check out the- <laughs> you are drying out. Close that thing, please. <laughs> oh. Connie and Raymond fucking off? Don't tell me they're just giving up and they're like, oh my god, she really is the filthiest person alive. Well, operator, give me the police office, please. Who the fuck? Guys stitching? No, I'm a neighbor and it's making me sick. The sight of such perverts guzzling wine and taking dope right out in the open. Tell them where it is. You mentioned the part where the guy was flexing his butthole for 20 minutes? Was Crackers keeping lookout for no reason? All right, guys, scram, scram. The cops are here. Oh, yeah. Look at these state-of-the-art cops. What is the background noise? Is it a song? Oh, sick em, boys. Time to put this meat cleaver to work. Eggman, get him. It's a good thing the Nazi has a gun. Everyone else has bats and axes. Oh, are they eating the dead bodies? No. Even the Eggman! Just when you thought you could trust somebody. I would say give some to Edie, but I think she has enough protein in her diet. Just married? More like just carried. <laughs> A 
Are we good to see Raymond's cock again? I swore that was the end of the movie. That seemed like a somewhat logical place to cap it off. Why do we have to see Raymond's cock again? There we go. Fuck chamber itself. Oh, this is where they made crackers. Right here on this very bed is where they touched their other Yeah, time. you guys should have sex on it instead. That would totally piss them off. What do they do in here? Oh, all sorts of disgusting positions, I would imagine, crackers. Mostly toe sucking. What are they doing? They're just rubbing themselves all over everything? Oh no, okay, they wrap that up pretty quick. Oh, okay, they're just licking everything, yeah. This just seems more like a kink at this point. Do what you gotta do, guys. Yeah, get that couch. Yeah. Should I shit on the floor, mama? Right here Yeah! Don't do that, crackers. That's weird, actually. Oh, mama, mama. I just thank God above I was lucky enough to be the soul that was placed in my body. The body of divine son. I was kidding about the fucking each other. I know you guys are gross, but I didn't think you'd actually... I guess this is the logical e escalation at this point. I don't think we're actually gonna watch it. I think the other guy that's still in the closet is gonna interrupt it, right? No, the guy- oh, he's- Cameraman does not- does not fear zooming in on everything. Do my balls, mama! Do my balls, mama! <laughs> Oh god, should, should watch it like straight up porn. <laughs> Get my balls, mama! <laughs> I think Connie and Raymond have the better plan in terms of just lighting up their home. Divine just licked everything. Light it, my darling. We are the filthiest people alive! Yeah, yeah. It's a good throw. Like seven hours later. Imagine just credits for right after this shot. Oh my god, cameraman, get out of there. Those woods are gonna fucking light up. I'm assuming there weren't too many safety provisions on set. That's a big fucking fire. Oh no, no, no. Oh god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. I mean, it's a good thing Edie got hitched like right before this. Oh. Oh! Nice. Oddly satisfying. Oh, he zoomed in on the flamingo. Cause the movie's called Big Flamingos. Symbolism. Suck each other's toes. Suck each other's toes. Suck each other's toes. Suck each other's toes. I'm not gonna lie, you guys kinda got bodied in the filthy category. I mean, just watching the whole movie. Did she slip off the couch because they licked it? Or is someone hiding underneath there? Oh, they are slipping because they licked everything. Very funny. It's quite a shot. It means the same. It's fine. Is there like house haunted now because they licked everything? What was going on with the couch? I thought it was just a gag because it's supposed to be like slippery. Condone first degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Hell yeah. I do. Who burned down our trailer? Connie and Raymond Marble. Can you point them out in this court? There they are, right there, the ones that are tied up. Who sent me a turd in the mail? Connie and Raymond Marble. Both equally horrible things in the eyes of the law. Suppose we decide not to print this story, Miss Devine. What then? Oh. I have your address, and I know you have a wife and child, is that correct? Well, if nothing is printed, we might be in the mood for a barbecue. Get what I mean? A human barbecue! Oh, she meant me. <laughs> oh yeah, good shot, good shot. How are we ending this movie? I've had to piss for like 30 minutes, and now I'm starting to get upset. Watch! As Divine proves that not only is she the filthiest person in the world, she is also the filthiest actress in the world. What you are about to see is a real thing. I, I gotta see the backstory to this narrator because he is somehow maybe the most confusing thing in this movie.
love that the first words I saw during the credits was the swag. <laughs> <laughs> the movie ended by her eating shit and winking. Um, <clears throat> it was me trying not to gag because because she, she straight up she straight up just ate dog shit. That's pink flamingos. Um, I have more to say in a in oh I'll add some more thoughts that a later point. I don't know what the fuck to tell you right now. Yeah, there isn't much more than that. I feel like I wouldn't like this movie on paper, but I like the overacting. The movie's kind of funny. Aside from, you know, the dead chicken fucking and just gaping asshole that kept ventilating. I didn't mind watching it. I'm cool with this one. This one's on the good list. Give a hand for yourselves. If you enjoyed this review, please leave a like. That would be cool. Yes, you saw it correctly. There is barware on sale. I got pints, glasses, shot glasses, stickers, other shit. I'm sure. Links on screen and viz.tv slash MrGG. Subscribe! Try to hit a million in 2023. If not, it's cool. I totally understand. And as always, I am MrGG and I am out. Bah.